Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, I'm Alicia. Now, for today's video, I did want to give a little warning up front because we will be talking about eating disorders and online predators, so if that's triggering for you and like you think you can't handle it, totally just like watch my next video, like totally fine. Also, I wanted to say that I mean no disrespect toward Eugenia or Eugenia's family or I mean, frankly, anyone mentioned in today's video. This is merely just research that I found while looking up her controversies and just other stuff kind of surrounding her that's, uh, I guess, like negative or whatnot. And also I'm gonna throw my like little nuggets of opinions and thoughts in as well throughout the video. So in today's video, we're looking into Eugenia Cooney's controversies. We're going to dive deep into all of the times that Eugenia's kind of been caught up in some like I, scandals, I guess you can call them. Um, I've seen other videos like this before where people just kind of like do research and try to keep it more like fact driven, but then also kind of throw their opinions in as well. And I've always found those super interesting. So I thought I would give it a try on my channel. So be sure to let me know if you guys like this kind of content um, by liking this video and go ahead and hit that subscribe. Oh, and also comment below and let me know if this is the kind of content you wanna keep seeing um, kind of thrown in every once in a while. And also don't forget to subscribe if you do enjoy the content. So without further ado, let's get right into the evolution of Eugenia Cooney's controversies. Eugenia Cooney is a 26 year old YouTuber that got her start in 2011 and so far she's gained over 2 million subscribers. She also has over 100,000 followers on Twitch, which is like a live streaming type of thing. Some of you might be familiar. I Twitch live streamed um, The Sims at one point for like three times and then never did it again. Uh, it was fun while I did it. So when I was doing this research, I went back and looked at her very first video and it was actually really interesting because comparatively, her first video, her voice is like different. It's not as high pitched and childlike as it is now. She also just had a different demeanor in front of the camera. Like she was almost confident. I don't know if I would say confident, but like she just seemed like she was cool with the camera and like everything. I mean, in her first try on haul or outfit, I think it was outfits of the week was her first video. In that video, I mean, she seemed like a YouTuber. Like she seemed confident in front of the camera. But in her latest videos, it's a little weird because I feel like she almost seems uncomfortable. And in my opinion, it like seems like she's hiding from the camera somewhat. So I just, it's sad to see that at one time she like loved being in front of the camera and now it feels like maybe she'd rather not, but obviously I'm not her. I don't know what's going on inside of her brain. I can't speak for her. That's just kind of my opinions on what I've seen in her videos. Eugenia has had a bit of controversy surrounding her ever since posting her very first YouTube video. Many viewers had health concerns regarding her weight. A lot of people began to think that even just her doing try on videos was problematic because it was promoting anorexia and eating disorders to her young fans and young viewers. Now, while doing my research, I did see some footage and some comments of young girls saying that Eugenia and her underweight appearance is their like thin spo and they want a body just like hers and it's actually super heartbreaking to see stuff like that and I know some of it is probably like trolls or whatnot but I know that there's probably also some that are completely like they see her and they want to look like her. They want to stop eating so that they can have a body just as thin as hers. It's honestly just messy and sad and it's just it's not black and white because on the one hand Eugenia is obviously struggling mentally and physically. I mean, she's struggling with an eating disorder. She has anorexia. She's not mentally well and she's starving herself, so can we blame her? I really wanna know what you guys think because I keep going back and forth over this after just like watching some of her videos, doing some research on her, like seeing all of this. I just, I don't know what I think. I definitely feel like she needs to take some accountability and responsibility because she does have such an influence and a platform. And I mean, everything she does is seen by millions of people and young girls are a big chunk of that. But I also feel like she couldn't possibly comprehend, like fully comprehend the damage that she is doing to herself and to others and still like do it. 
if that makes sense. She can't possibly grasp the damage she's doing or I don't think she would be doing it. So, I mean, she seems like a sweet girl and so I just feel like I want her to take accountability and responsibility, but I also feel like she can't do that until she takes responsibility and accountability for herself and caring for herself. But I wanna know what you guys think. So in 2015 is when Eugenia started getting like a vast amount of comments about her weight in YouTube videos or on YouTube videos, the comments on them. And she had gotten them like a little before, but like this was when it really started taking off. And I feel like people were telling their friends about her and like people were coming to her channel just to like look and see like, oh, someone told me that this girl is really thin. Now there was just all these like vast amounts of people that were like, you need help basically is what they were saying. Like you're way too thin is most of the comments she was getting. They were all about her weight. Most of them were about her weight. Comments about her appearance gradually increased over time and she actually has more dislikes than likes at the moment on all of her videos pretty much like all the recent ones and this started happening around 2015 because people wanted to see her get help. They didn't want to enable her eating disorder, basically. They didn't want to give her positive attention, even though sometimes the negative attention when it comes to an eating disorder, like, it's the same thing. Like, people don't care when they have an eating disorder. I've had one in the past, and, like, any attention is good attention honestly, when you're in that headspace. In October of 2016, there were actually petitions to ban Eugenia from YouTube due to her underweight appearance. And around this time, so in like 2016, she actually stated that she didn't have an eating disorder, that she didn't have anorexia, and she wouldn't discuss like any questions about her weight or appearance or eating habits or anything like that. But on February 10th of 2019, Eugenia announced via Twitter that she would be taking a break and that she would be working with her doctor, but she didn't really mention anything specific. For the next five months, there was no activity at all on any of Eugenia's social media accounts. And on May 31st of 2019, her hairstylist actually posted a photo of Eugenia and she was actually looking a lot better. Like she was looking like she was getting healthier. And then on July 19th of 2019, YouTuber Shane Dawson, who has come into some controversy lately, um, but because this is about Eugenia, we're not really going to talk about that. We're just going to talk about what he has to do in correlation with her but he put out a documentary about Eugenia or with Eugenia, and it was meant to talk about like her break from social media and her eating disorder. And on that same day, Eugenia actually uploaded a video on her channel that was titled, I'm Back. And that was to kind of announce her return to everything. Like she was returning back to work. She was on all of her social medias now. Apparently she was just better now. And she actually gained over 250,000 subscribers within 24 hours of Shane Dawson posting his video. So like within the YouTube community, people that knew Eugenia and even people that like just knew Shane and were watching the documentary from him, everyone was just happy that like she was getting better. Like that's all you want for someone that has a mental problem. Like you just, you want them to get better and everyone was pretty happy, but some people outside of YouTube, and I think even some people within YouTube, they kind of criticized or were like disappointed by the documentary that Shane put out because he kind of glossed over a lot of stuff and there wasn't much talk about the eating disorder. And I have to say that when I watched this video, I kind of had the same thought. I was just like, I didn't feel like we really got much from it. I felt like it wasn't very genuine. Like it was, it gave the vibe of like, oh, you can go to the doctor and get better too. I'm all better now. And it's just like, that's not how eating disorders work. That's not how recovery works. And it, I, I was expecting just a lot more from it. Like if she actually had taken it seriously and like she actually understood she had a problem and I just feel like she didn't. And someone with an eating disorder needs more than a like five month or six month, however much she took off, they need more time than that. Like it takes years to get actually over your eating disorder. And I feel like if you're still in the very beginning stages of like healing, you should not come back to YouTube if obviously that triggers you. And from what we've seen of when that documentary came out to where she is now, it seems like she has relapsed, which that happens, okay? It happens with like most recovery situations, but she's not talking about it. And I just, that bugs me because if you have such a platform and like you have so many followers, I know that this is a personal thing for you, but you are sharing this with everyone. You have chosen to share your life and yourself with everyone. I mean, hopefully she's not being forced into anything, but there have been some claims about her mother, which we'll kind of get into. Anyway, I feel like she definitely should not have come back to YouTube so soon. 
and definitely should not have done try on videos like she's been doing. I don't know. I mean, I'm not her. And like I said, I don't control her, obviously. And this is just my thoughts. But like, I don't think being in front of the camera at all should have even been on her mind. Like, I'm sorry, but if you have an eating disorder as bad as she seems to have, then then like that should be your main priority. It shouldn't be making money on YouTube. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's my personal opinion. I just think that she should put her health above these other things and she's not. And I don't know if that's due to her mother or if she really just feels so unworthy of love for herself, but I I wish that she would care for herself a lot more than she seems to be doing. So the same day that Eugenia and Shane posted their video videos, Jacqueline Glenn, a former friend of Eugenia, published a video on her channel featuring two of her and Eugenia's friend, other friends. And in this video, they claim that Shane like just kind of ignores a lot of the recovery story. In Shane's documentary, it Eugenia gave off these vibes that Jacqueline and her friends like kind of pushed her and bullied her about everything and like bullied her into therapy. And Jacqueline was basically saying like, that's not correct, like, and Eugenia was also saying that that like these friends had never cared before and she was trying to make it seem like Eugenia and her like her mother brought it to her attention it was very weird in the documentary and it didn't seem genuine at all and I completely believe Jacqueline because just from how she was in the video I do recommend going and watching it I'll link it below I could tell that like there was a lot of truth to that but anyway that was kind of a controversy of like her video with Shane a lot of people thought it was not very well done is what people thought of like you didn't even talk about anything important really in Jacqueline's video she actually states that Eugenia's mother is dangerous and as long as Eugenia is in a house with her mother she won't be okay like she will continue to be ill they claim that Eugenia's mother is like the direct result of Eugenia being so severely underweight it was even said that her mother had said that if Eugenia got well that she would die like the mother said she would die because she needed Eugenia to take care of her because of a heart problem so there's just some some stuff there that I don't want to unpack but like it seems pretty shady even though Eugenia to be fair Eugenia has never come out saying anything bad about her mother like at all she always makes her mother seem like the good guy in every situation so take those claims with a grain of salt because like I can't say for you know for a fact that they are true but I do when I do research and when I do videos like this because I'll probably do more like this in the future I just, I want to bring everything to you guys of like, okay, so if you guys went and researched all this, what would you find? And that was part of the conversation. So like I said, in the Shane Dawson documentary with Eugenia, it just seemed like not genuine. It seemed way too like tied with a bow. And I mean, like I said, I've struggled with an eating disorder too, and I will always struggle with it, but that's just not how recovery is. Like recovery isn't tied with a bow ever. And the way that she talks, Eugenia talks about recovery, tells me that she doesn't, she hasn't admitted to herself that she has a problem. I think she realizes that, she might realize that she does have anorexia, but I don't think yet that she has realized that this is a problem. She doesn't see anything bad with it. I don't know if that's completely true. Like I said, that's just my opinion from what I've seen of her and what she said, just the way she talks about recovery. I don't love because I don't think that she should be I don't think she is in a place where she should be talking about it yet because I don't think she has fully embraced recovery. So that's just my opinion. Oh, I also, and I wanted to bring up, okay, so like I said, I've struggled with eating disorders, but I've also been on the other side of things. I've also been the person trying to get my friend help, whether it be because they're suicidal, whether it be because they have an eating disorder, whatever the mental health problem is, I've been on the other side of trying to get them help and wanting them to live and wanting to save them. And being that friend, being on that side of things, it's not easy. It's not easy to know that you have to do something that may make your friend hate you. So I think what Jacqueline and her friends did, I think that that is what her mother should have done long, long ago. And I had never watched Jacqueline before this, so it's not like I'm a huge diehard Jacqueline fan and that's why I'm taking her side. But after watching the video of Jacqueline talking about the situation, I can literally relate to everything that she said and everything and the way she, like, I just, I can relate so much. Like, I, I understand exactly where she's coming from. Like, sometimes to save the people you love, you have to be okay with them hating you. 
because what's most important is their health and that they get better. And you just kind of have to hope that one day they'll see that what you did was for the best, like you were just looking out for them. And Eugenia also at this, around this time, made a video with Katie Horton, who is like a psychologist, I guess, on YouTube. I don't really understand that much what she exactly does. I literally only know her because of Shane and Eugenia's video. And I will say that I had a few problems with this video, and if you guys watch it, I'll, I would love to know like what you guys thought in the comments too. Like, what did you think of the video? Because some of my problems with it were, one, Katie seems to like finish Eugenia's sentences, which I think is super weird. And like, if you've ever been to a therapist, or honestly, if you just know what a therapist is, like that, is sketchy like that's not <laughs> that's never a therapist's job to finish your sentences and to like give you the thoughts and like feed you lines like that's not what a therapist should be doing and a lot of people had the same concerns because I saw it in comments and I was like okay so I'm not the only one that thinks this was a little weird and two it's like just it's not deep at all like it's so surface level it's so not genuine like they barely talk about anything because they don't want to like trigger people. But it's like you're literally making a video about eating disorders. Like you're already triggering people with that title or with that stuff. So like go ahead and talk about it. If you've given the warning, like talk about it now. Like we, whoever's watching, we want to know what's going on. And if you don't want to tell us, then don't make the video. Like I just, I don't know. I just hate when people like make these videos t like saying they're going to go deep into like stuff and maybe that could actually help people and then they actually don't like say anything at all and they just made a bunch of money because basically it was like a catfish title. Catfish title. It, not catfish. What am I thinking of? Clickbait. That's what I was trying to think of. Wow. Um, yeah, the, basically it felt like clickbait. Also, just the fact that Eugenia seemed so uncomfortable the whole video, and I understand that it's because she was talking about uncomfortable things that she probably doesn't want to talk about, but that's my thing is then don't talk about them. Like, I just wish she wouldn't have done any of these videos. Like, I wish she wouldn't have come back yet. Like, she needed more time. It was kind of obvious by the way she was on camera. It was almost like she gained some, like, a little bit of weight and then everyone was like okay cool you're good now put you back on camera what like that doesn't make sense to me and it was just like if she's so uncomfortable and it's obvious that like this stuff is still really hard for her to talk about then why are we making her talk about it and if she chose to talk about it i mean i guess that's on her but like then actually talk about it like really talk about it actually share something with the audience like I I don't know I didn't like that video at all I watched it and I was just like I don't understand why this was made I feel like they didn't say anything now getting to the more recent controversy which is kind of why I wanted to make this video in the first place because I think this needs to be talked about and honestly I just wanted to give my thoughts on it and I thought it would be interesting to dive into because I was like wait what when I found out about this so yeah so basically she's being accused of allowing online predators like really easy access to her fans her young impressionable fans now she's never apologized for this or tried to protect her young fans from these like major creeps so we're gonna talk about the like online predators and i'll link the reddit like thread or reddit comment below that talks about all this if you guys want to get like the in-depth detail of what like went on because some of it's just like honestly too gross for me to talk about so yeah. So one of the predators was actually a moderator like in Eugenia's community on I believe on I believe her discord. So it's like a chat room type of thing. So the moderator is supposed to be like the the protector, the one that makes sure that everyone like everything's running smoothly, nobody's fighting, nobody's being inappropriate, like that type of thing. But one of the predators was a moderator. So there we got a problem there. And he was actually a registered and he was like completely upfront apparently about talking about being a felon. Like that's not a red flag at all apparently. So when the community became aware that he was a felon and um, what exactly he was and that he was being predatory, the like other moderators like just tried to cover it up and Eugenia like never spoke about it and never apologized about it or took responsibility or accountability for it. So that just seems... Um, yeah, not super great. So that's one one of the predators. So the second one in her community, like online community, was a 29-year-old man 
who was preying on a 14 year old girl. And he was BFFs with the third predator that we will talk about in a minute. Okay, like I said, for this second predator, I don't wanna go into super detail because literally it is disgusting and I can't believe this was going on with such like a young audience and I can't believe Eugenia let this go on for so long. Regardless, um, like I said, if you wanna see the full stuff, I'll put the link below. Basically, he was asking her, like he started asking her super like really inappropriate questions and he was being an overall like creepy predator he was essentially grooming her he would even like guilt trip her and manipulate her and like anytime she was uncomfortable with something like he would throw something back at her like blackmail her basically or threaten her sometimes when she would ask him to stop he would like gift her subscriptions to Eugenia. I'm not sure exactly what that means. It must be like must be like a Twitch thing or maybe a Patreon type of thing. But he would like gift her that stuff and she loved Eugenia. So she was like, okay. This 14 year old actually like cried and told Eugenia that she wouldn't be able to come to her live streams anymore like online because this guy was being such a creep. Like she was literally being stalked by this predator and she was telling Eugenia this and said that she like asked Eugenia not to forget her. Like that's so freaking sad. So like Eugenia and the mods, the moderators, they knew what was going on. So predator number three, who like I said, was friends with predator number two. That's great. Honestly, like one predator is bad enough, but like three, you have three in your community. Predator number three was a Nazi that kind of like went after 18 year old girls and he would blackmail them to change in front of him or else. And this man was not banned, even though like, women were fighting for him to be and they were like this guy is a creep they told him what they told the mods what the, what he was doing nothing happened so instead of actually being banned like before he was banned he was actually arrested and went to jail for um so so when eugenia was told about a predator saying sexual things and inappropriate things she was quoted as saying he's a sweet guy now my problem right here is the insinuation i guess is what you would say that a sweet guy or a nice guy can't be a predator or can't also be a monster. We see it time and time again. Sometimes the nicest, sweetest people are the most evil. They're the monsters. They're the serial killers. Ted Bundy, for instance. And I just feel like with the platform and influence that Eugenia has, she cannot be complacent about things like this. I don't care how much you want to avoid conflict. This is serious stuff. And if a young fan is coming to you with concerns like this, they should be taken seriously. You have to react. You have to do something. Like you need to protect them. I understand that you can't protect everyone, but in this instance, like you responded. She said, she responded. She said, you know, he's a nice guy or whatever. That doesn't matter. Like you need to take, you take your fans seriously if someone is talking about a predator like believe them this is her community like she is responsible for it this this community is a thing because of her so just to recap eugenia's main controversy is surrounding her and just like the little nuggets of kind of concern are her weight that she has struggled with anorexia and it took her a long time to get help and it feels like she's still hasn't accepted that she has an eating disorder so i mean that in itself is just a controversy of like should she be allowed to be on youtube that sort of thing another controversy is her mother and how her mother is enabling her and that's just a whole thing as well basically everyone but eugenia claiming that like her mother is a monster and then the third controversy is with the predators like she's she's letting these predators slide she doesn't really care and that is a problem. I mean, that's a controversy. That's not okay. Like it's that, it goes back to like that whole, if you see something, say something. Like it's her community. She needs to take responsibility for it. So my final thoughts are just that Eugenia is going through some pretty awful stuff right now. I personally don't think that she should be on the internet making try on videos, be on YouTube, filming her body when it's obvious that she still isn't healed from her eating disorder. She needs to take the time away to actually work on herself and her mental health. I wish that she would worry as much about herself as everyone is worrying about her. Recovery doesn't work if you don't do the work. Like recovery isn't easy and you have to choose. Like you have to be the one to choose recovery. Reco you can't do it without doing it. You know what I mean? It's not like, it's not like you can just take a recovery class. You know what, it's not, yeah. Like you have to be in the mindset of like, oh, I do have a problem. Like you have to accept it or literally nothing's going to change. Like because it all is in your head, it's a mental thing. So yeah, she can't just continue to pretend that everything is fine. I hope that she starts to realize the harm that she's doing to herself and 
to all of her young fans watching her and looking up to her and wanting to look like her. And I hope that she finally like decides that she is worthy of care and self-love. She is worth it. She just needs to believe it. I hope that Eugenia gets the help that she needs, but I also hope that she takes accountability and responsibility for the predator allegations. I hope she will talk about it because I think a thing we see a lot with Eugenia is that she doesn't really talk about anything that comes up as a controversy. She just is a person that chooses to not respond to it or like laugh it off or say like, you're being a hater. And you can't do that with everything. I mean, sometimes people are literally just trying to save you. <laughs> I hope she goes back into recovery, but I hope she does it herself this time and like wants it. I want her to want to save herself. You know what I mean? And I also hope that she does take accountability and responsibility for what is happening in her community. She seems like such a sweet girl, so I feel like she does care. She just maybe doesn't know how to address it. But it's like, just be honest, because I feel like that's the one thing we've never seen from Eugenia. And I could be wrong. Like I said, this is all my opinion. But in my personal opinion, I don't feel like we've ever seen anything genuine from her. Even her voice has changed since the beginning in a weird way. Like, it feels like she's a character. And I, I get that sometimes that's what you do on YouTube is you're like, you're a character, you know, you're on for the camera. And I get that. But if you are going to be a channel that talks about mental disorders and eating disorders and all of that, you can't be that. You need to be genuine and you need to be honest. I just don't think that she should be giving unrealistic expectations and and lying to her audience that she's better when she's not. I, I don't think she should be doing that. Let me know what you guys thought of this kind of video in the comments below and if you'd like to see kind of the evolution of controversies for other YouTubers. I know some people like um, Trisha Paytas and like Gabby Hanna, they have a lot more controversies that have come up about them. And so I totally could do a video on those if you guys even care or want that. Like I said, I wanna know what you guys think in the comments below um, about all of these controversies and just like, don't be disrespectful, but I'm totally open to anyone's opinion. So if you guys think differently than me, I wanna hear about it in the comments, but like be respectful about it, you know? So don't forget to like if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this and comment below and let me know what other content you would like to see or other people you would like me to do research on, I suppose, or um, any scandals or whatnot. I hope Eugenia gets the help she needs and I hope she takes accountability and responsibility. And that's pretty much it. So yeah. All right. I will see you guys in my next one.